Hi everyone, welcome to my live show. This is Demi. Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon for everyone. Welcome to my live show. This is Demi. We are from Doing Company, and guys, you can see we change our live stream today, and you can, you can see this. No, I didn't change. Okay. Okay, guys, just wait me one more minute, okay? Welcome, new friends. Welcome to my love show. This is Demi. Hi, new friends. Welcome to my live show. I just changed my title first. Just wait me one second, okay? Here. Hi everyone, welcome to my live show. This is Demi. Hello, WW, welcome to my channel, honey. And all oh, my new friends, today I will let you guys know how did we choose the paralysis plant. And right now I just start my introduction. If during this live show, if you do have any question, you can just put your question in the comment area. Hi everyone, hello. Can you hear me, guys? If you can hear me, can you put your comment here? Hi, hello, W W. Can you help me? Can you hear? Can you hear me? If you can hear me, please put your put your comment here. I'm not sure if I have the voice. Hi, B. I'm welcome, B M, to my channel, honey. Welcome. Okay, guys, can you hear me, everyone? No. Okay. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello. Is anybody can hear me? Hi everyone, I'm so sorry I don't have the voice just now. Can you hear me for now? No? Continue still? Hi, hi. Hi, you friends. Hello. Hi, hello. Hi. <laughs> I have the voice. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to doing live stream. This is Danny here. Can you guys hear me? If you can hear me, please put your comment here. Hello, new friends. Hello, IF. Welcome, new friends. Oh my God, we have a lot of people come to my live show, but I don't know what's the problem about my voice. 
I'm not sure. Can you guys hear me for now? Hello, you friends. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I'm the people. Do I have the voice for now? Hi, you friends. Hello, you friends. Welcome to my live show. If you are the first time in... If you are the first time in my uh, live show, you can just click the follow button. <laughs> okay, so hi everyone, can you hear me for now? And later I just introduce our, our equipment to you. And here I'd like, I would like to share our company to you. Our company is located in Zhengzhou City, Henan Province. And in our, in our company we have our own technical team, we have our own engineer team, even though we have sales team and also for after sales team. And uh, according to this, a lot of department, we will give you guys very... Okay, so, uh, and today I would like to share you how did we choose the paralysis machine. I know a lot of the people, they have the raw materials, like they have the with the terrace, with the uh, rubbers, and uh, with the plastic, they have the raw materials for every day. And they don't know how to deal with about these things. Some people, they just discharge it, and some people, they choose our machine to get the paralysis oil. And uh, how did we get the paralysis oil? Because we can see they have a lot of the factory even though we are the manufacturer as well and uh, some people they don't know how did we choose the manufacturer and today I would like to share you some important some important some points like uh, how did we choose these machines and today if you like my live show or if you are interested about our company, you can just give me a follow in the left part and uh, click the follow button, also send me some likes. So I will introduce our equipment for you as well. And uh, right now, let me first part, first part, let me introduce myself again. This is Demi, we are from Doing Company, we are the manufacturer, already have the 13 years experience. And later, I would like to share you these equipment. So today, our topic is how to choose the pyrolysis plant. And uh, later, I would like to share some important point. Just like, okay, guys, can you see this picture in the bottom here? So first, we need to make sure our raw materials, like what kind of the raw materials you are using for. Like you can have some with the terrace, with the rubbers, and also some people, they have some uh, with the plastic as well. So according to different raw materials, the people, they will choose different equipment. Like for the with the terrace, some people, they choose the batch type paralysis machine. But for other other things, some people they supposed to be choose uh, supposed to be choose the fully automatic continuous paralysis machine, and uh, this is the two picture I would like to share to you. The first picture on the top, this is with with the, t with the plastic. In our daily life, we have a lot of with the plastic. Like we you, we go to the supermarket, we go to the supermarket, we we take a bag, and we go to uh, we go to outside. We take a bottle of the waters. We take a lot other things. Like for the daily life, we are using for the plastic everything. Like the champagne bottle, like the water bottle, like the like the data gym bottles, yes, according to this kind of the bottles, how did we use our machines? Hello, Ty, welcome Ty to my channel. Hello, how are you, honey, how are you? And also, and also the second picture is I would like to share the with the terrace. 
according to the people are rich than before, and some people they are choosing to buy a car. Some people they are choosing to uh, buy a truck, and this after that we get a lot of the with tariffs. And also, not only these two kind of the raw materials we are using for every day, and also for other things like oil sludge. Some people this has been known in the big cargoes. Hmm? Some people they are choosing. Hi, Mahat. Welcome to my channel. Oh my God, where are you from, honey? Where are I from? Elma Heidi. Elma Heidi, am I right? Honey, I just like to share our equipments here. If you are interested, can you give me a follow button right here? I will appreciate. <laughs> I can't change. No, I can't go. No, I can't. Yes, I can't. I can't to change it right now. <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay, guys, just wait me one second. I will delay something. Hi UT, welcome to my channel. Hi XQ, welcome to my channel. Hello new friends. How are you? Thank you for watching my live stream today. If you guys have any questions, just leave your comment here. And right now I would like to share our equipment for you first. First, uh, we are from doing company, already have 13 years experience for uh, our equipment, paralysis equipment, and also According to today, I would like to share you how did we choose the equipment. Right now, the first part is according to your raw materials. First part is according to your raw materials, like a, what kind of the raw materials you have, what kind of the equipment we are recommend to you. Hello, Samuel. Welcome, Samuel, to my channel. How are you, Samuel? And uh, also from for. According to your different raw materials, we will give you the different equipment suggestion. Like what kind of the raw materials you are using, we just recommend what kind of the raw materials for you. Like the first part, I would like to share this one. The first part already know is according to your raw materials. Let's go to the second part. It's according to your raw materials, the oil yield. Some people they supposed to be have a question, like, okay, what kind of the oil yields? If I have the one ton with the plastic, how many we, how many paralysis oil I can get? I can get. Some people they are choosing. Some people they are choosing the different machines. Some people they are very concerned about the oil yield. And the different raw materials, they, are, they have different oil yields. Like uh, the waste terrace, 
the oil yet if you have one ton with the tariffs you supposed to be have the 14% oil use you supposed to be have the 14% oil and also if you have if you have the uh, with the plastic like with the plastic if you have the pure PE if you have the pure PE materials you supposed to be have the 1916 percent of the oil use Okay. okay, guys. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Phil Likes, honey. Thank you so much, Phil Likes. And right now, guys, did it, can you see me right now? Just now, <laughs> I have some small problem about our our documents, and right now I already changed it. And uh, according to this time, the oil yield is like some people they want to get get the oil yield, some people they want to get the paralysis oil, so they are very concerned about the oil yield. And some people they are very interested about the carbon black, because in some countries the carbon black is more expensive than paralysis oil. So according to different countries, they have the different require, requirement. So according to this requirement, the second part is the oil yield. Like what kind of the oil yield you are concerned about? Like, if you using the batch type paralysis machine, you supposed to be get the fourteen, at least the fourteen percent the oil. But for other people, they are very interested about the about the tail gas and the, the carbon black. And right now, the third part. The third part is right here. It's about the Kama City. I'm not sure, guys, did you know the Kama City here? Thanks, guys. Thank you for likes. All right. So this is the Kama City. We have the different Kama City. The, smallest, the smallest one is the 100 kg per day. And the large one is the 15 tons per day. It's, it's for the batch type py pyrolysis plant. And also we have the fully continuous pyrolysis plant. They have the different common city. According to this raw material, these two kind of the raw materials, they, oh, two equipments, they have the different uh, compensated like the fully continuous paralysis plant they have the 15 tons for per day hi Steven welcome Steven welcome to my live show okay and this is the first this is a 500 kd per day machine small machine I put the name is right here I'm not, not sure can you guys see it and the first part we can see this is a small reactor. This small reactor we can put at least 400 kg uh, the waste terrace, but you're supposed to be using the machine put the terrace together. And then we have the cooling system in the back. The cooling system with the oil tank in the back here so at in the batch type pyrolysis machine, at least one day you're supposed to be get the uh, fourteen percent. You're supposed to be get five hundred kg. You're supposed to be get the two hundred kg the oils. And then let me sh show you the fourth part. So how did we choose the? pyrolysis plant, first we need to choose a big manufacturer. Like if we have some problem about the equipment, this factory is going to be send the engineer to your country and to fix it. For our company, we have our foreigner agent in outside, foreigner engineer in outside as well. So we can help you to install and we can help you to mine, mine many of the factor, many of the equipment, and uh, also for our company we have the after, sale, after sales service 
and also we will give you the one year's warranty about our machines. So during one year, if you do have any question, you can just connect us. We will send our engineer to fix it. But it's, it's also for the big problem, but I hope you never use it. Hi, OC. Welcome, OC, our new client. How are you today? Can you just say hi to me? I just want to get more, more comment here. Hi, Aaron. Welcome. Terry Shredder machine. We have it here. Aaron, we have the Terry Shredder machine here as well. If you are interested, can I just give you the catalog here? I hope this machine can help you. Aaron, let me just send it to you. Okay. Hope you will hope this one will helpful for you and also this is the four four important parts we need to choose very very powerful manufacturing because if our equipments have any problem we can help you to deal with it and the next part let me show you this one equipments yes if you want to get some paralysis oil that is very important to choose the equipments because in different factory they have the different technical about the equipments so according to different equipments if you are interested you're gonna be you're gonna be have the test running also for different kind of the equipments and also uh, some people they like to using the batch tap paralysis machine because they don't want to be become busy for every day and then they choose the batch tap paralysis machine some people they want to get a lot of the paralysis oil so they choose the fully automatic continuous paralysis machine according to those kind of the machines some people they are in were interested about those fully continuous paralysis machine and also some people they choose some other factory the machines according to and then they using the water cooling box and then in our company you can choose this two kind of the cooling system we have the cooling system like the vertical condenser we have the horizontal condenser they are more cooling than the water box because if you using these machines for the whole days the water will become warm but for other but for our vertic vertical condenser and the horizontal condenser, they are using for the uh, recycling water. Recycling water. So that is very different. That, that is very different. And also, according to these two machines, they have the different capacity. Some people, they can get different oils for one day. And also, let me show you this one. Hi, ST. Hello, new friends. Welcome to my channel. Guys, can you guys give me a follow? It's right here. If you do have any question, just put your question in the comment area. I would like to share the answer for you. And then, let me show you this part. This is our batch tap paralysis plant. This is a 3D video. At the first part, we can see that is very important part, the reactor. Some people they supposed to know the reactor is very important part. Why? Because we we supposed to be put the with the terrace or with the plastic inside, right? So they supposed to be have a big container, and then we put these raw materials inside, and they the after that the reactor gonna be get turn 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 like this way, and then we need to using the burner to heat it. We need to use in the burner to heat it. And also af after the heat, this is supposed to be when the temperature reached to 218 until the 320. This is this is supposed to be get some oil, oil gas come out. And then we will go to the next part is the cooling system I already told you. And uh, after the cooling system, some people, they supposed to get the oil from 
uh, with this supposed to be see the oil come out from the oil tank here. And then for the carbon black for the carbon black collection here, this one can make our factory more clean and can make our equipments uh, using for a long time and uh, we can collect the, the carbon carbon black but as a DCU if you you have the six if you have the six tons about this one as a you using this and then let me introduce next part here okay this is our batch paralysis batch tab paralysis plant detail introduction um I think in here it's very small, so I will introduce different part for you. This is the reactor. First part, the reactor is can is be is connected with the four different materials. The first part we are using the steel plate, the steel plate, and then we we have the steel structure. After that, we have the refractory rock wall. After that, we have the re refractory cement. So this is the outside insulation about this plant. They are contain, they are be connect with the four different materials. And then we can see the first one is right here. This is the auto filling. Uh, but in here, I think it's very small for you. Okay, I hope you can see that. Hi, Louis. Welcome, Louis, to my channel. Hello, Husa. Welcome, Husa, to my channel. How are you, Husa? How are you today? So this is the second part, and then we can see the third part. This one. This is the re This is the buffer tank. Buffer tank is meaning to using for the. Is meaning to using for reduce the oil oil gas speed. After the oh you guys where we okay here comes one question some people they supposed they have this question where we reduce the oil gas because uh, they think the, uh, a lot of the oil gas come to outside come to the cooling part they supposed to get a lot of the oil but in fact it's not like this because if the oil gas they have very fast speed they supposed to be they are not cooling properly and so that is why we put the buffer tank here just reduce the oil oil gas speed just want to make sure all the oil gas will be cooling properly and then we supposed to be we supposed to know this part this is the desulvorization tower desulvor Origin tower is the last part. I will introduce this part for you later. After the buffer tank, we will go to. After the buffer tank, we will go to the vertical condenser. So for the batch tap paralysis machine, they have the four step for the cooling system, and they have the seven, seven. They have the seven equipments to cooling. Uh, they have first part. They have the two vertical condenser. It's right here. Can you guys see that? It's the two vertical condenser. After that, they have the two horizontal condenser. It's right here. So we already have four, and then they have the two cooling tower. We have six. After that, we have the water sea. After water sea, we already have the seven step about the cooling. See, this is a condenser system, and also the last part is the smell remove device. For the smell remove device, some people they are very interested. Why? Because this part they can just remove some, uh, some flavor, some flavor, like the like the sulfur dioxide, like the sulfur dioxide, the smell. They're gonna be removed. So the smell removal device is very very useful because in some country they are very they are very um, care about the the environment and they are very care about the 
astrophere environment. So that is why they are choose a machine. This machine is only in our company you can buy it because this is our technical. And also, let me show you the next part. Yeah, just now I, I, I told you I will introduce the desulvorization tower right here. For the desulvorization tower, this one we will remove some other tail gas like the like the sulfurtate, sulfurtate dioxide, like the sulfurtate the flavor here, we just remove it. After the desulvorization tower, some people they the some some people they will get this gas can just spread in outside. Hello Anna, thanks for your follows, honey. Thanks for your follows. Okay, guys, if you are interested about our live show, you can just give me a follow right here. If you do have any question, just give me your question. I would like to share the answer for you immediately. Okay, so this is for the batch type paralysis detail. I just introduced different parts. Oh yes, I forgot the very important parts. This is the carbon black wind transfer system. What we call this one is the carbon black wind transfer system because some people they suppose know the carbon black is very small, it's very small piece, just like this. Just like this, very small pieces. And it's very hard to collect. And some people they using the whole oyster to collect the carbon black and this part, this one, the the wind, this is the carbon black wind transport system. This one also is our company technical. And also for this one, also for this one, some people they are choosing to use it because you can, they are very easy to get the carbon black and the, just make sure the factory is very clean. Just make sure the factory is very clean. And also, let me show you the second second different machine because in our fight in our company we have the fully continuous paralysis machine. We have the batch tap batch tap paralysis machines, and also we have the semi continuous paralysis machine. So if if, if some people they don't have a lot of the monies and then they choose the semi continuous paralysis machine, even though for now in China we already have the at least the five, five factory to using this paralysis machine. And uh, let me just introduce, even though in, in the foreigner we have the people using this machine as well, because for this machine you can, uh, they can at least two days get the three, three times to get the paralysis oil. Yeah, I forgot to tell you because for the batch type paralysis machine, some people they only can get one uh, this oil for one day because for the reactor we supposed to make sure this one can be cooling, can be cool, can be cooling, uh, just like a, we need to make sure this one. We need to make sure these machines can use can use at in 22 until 24 hours for one batch. But for the semi-continuous paralysis machine, we can use it at least the 17 and the 18 hours for one batch. So at least two days you can get the, you can use it for three, three batch. Three batch, yes. Let me just introduce the next part. This is our semi-continuous pyrolysis plant. And for this plant, let me tell you what's the difference. So the first one, for the semi-continuous pyrolysis plant, some people they are choosing using the waste rub, you know, waste rubber because this one you can see the feeding, 
the fitting fitting door is very small, so some people they are choosing to put the with the rubbers. Also, this one only can put the with the rubbers. But for the batch tap paralysis machine, some people they are choosing they are put the with the terrace inside as as directly. So for the batch tap paralysis machine, you're supposed to be after the after this machine finish the carbon black, finish the oil, fin finish the react, finish the paralysis. We're supposed to be wait until this reactor cooled, and then we will pull out the steels. We will pull out the steels, and then. And then they, you can see they have a lot of the tube on the top, and then this this one will connect with the buffer tank as well. And after that, they have one small reactor is right here. Can you guys see? This is a small reactor is right here. Why we put the small reactor? Because this small reactor is using for cl connect, uh, collect the carbon black. So in the reactor. After when the temperature reaches 300 degree, we can discharge the carbon black di directly. But for the batch tap paralysis machine, if we, we want to discharge the carbon black, we at least wait the carbon oh black God, until the 18 degree. Hi PG, how are you PG? Welcome to my live show. MX, which country about the MX? Can you tell me which country about the MX? I just want my comment become more. Can you just give me some comment here? I will appreciate. Thank you so much. So this is the equip this is a semi continuous pyrolysis plant. And then this one we are using the raw materials, the waste waste rubbers and some people they are using the waste plastic as well. But we need to use the shredder, shred the plastic in small pieces. And then for the reactor in the back here is using for collect the uh, carbon black. And also for this one, we can choose the water seed water water recycling box as well. Also for the uh, also for the uh, condenser. This term as well, we can use this too. Hello, X View. Welcome to my channel. Welcome, new friends. Thanks for everyone come to my live show. If you during this live show, if you do have any question, just put your question in the comment area. I would like to share more details about our machines for you. So this is the semi-continuous pyrolysis plant, and then. This one, this one has also has a reactor. Also have the uh, carbon black reactor. So that is different between the batch tap paralysis machine for the semi continuous paralysis machine. And guys, for these two different things, do you have any question? If you have a question, just let me know. Okay, so this is the second picture, the semi-continuous paralysis plant. You can see the desulfurization tower is right here. Yeah, the the high, the tallest one. This one is the desulfurization tower. This one we are using to remove some uh, some sulfur sulfur dioxide sulfate sulfurative smell things just use this one and then we have some we have some chemical on the top here and use the water spray to put the tail gas make it clean after that we can just reach according to the policy to spray the, the gas as well and then I will show you the fully continuous paralysis machine, even though I already introduced this one for you guys a lot of times. But in different times, I will share you different part uh, details. 
and then we can see the longer reactor. Yeah, I have to see if you choose the batch tap paralysis machine for the reactor at least longer the 7.5, 7.5 millimeters, 7, 7.5 meters. But for the for the fully for the full automatic continuous paralysis reactor, at least at least the fifteen fifteen semi meters fifteen meters. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. So for this machine, we can just see this is very long, and for I I remember in our China factory, some people uh, always ask me. Okay, uh, if I choose the fully continuous paralysis machine, how long about the factory I need to prepare? And uh, according to our sales manager, they always suggest them at least 75 meters. At least 75 meters. So for the reactor also, it's very longer. And some people, they supposed to ask, why? Why we put this one so long? Why we put this one so long? Because the fully automatic continuous paralysis plant, we are one side to fit in and they are uh, the other side to get the carbon black. Some people, they, they, they just were interested about that. Like, like how did we do that? I will show you. Hi, Minier. Hello, Minier. Oh my God, it's a, it's a boy. Hi, Zoe. Welcome, Zoe. Welcome, Minier. Welcome new friends. Okay, it's right here. Let me just show you. So according to this page Okay, that is too white. Okay, that is too white. I give up. So I will use my hands first They are very long the reactor they are very long and then the, we feed it from the from the beginning Just from here and then we get turned, they have the spinner inside the reactor. We just turn, 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 turn to the, to the large, to, until the end, until the end. In here, from the beginning until the end, they are get the burner to burn it as well. And then, and then, this is supposed to be at least uh, four hours for the for properly to get heat because if you are not properly to heat it, this is supposed to be this is supposed to be at this is supposed to be using for a uh, very it's not heat properly. So you just with the, this raw materials and then you will get very less you will get very less about the oils. So that is contain how many oils you got? Hi new fries. And this is a fully uh, continuous paralysis plant for the feeding. And then let me just introduce the cooling part. For the heating part also it's different. Like for the reactor is right here. We are have the burning room inside here. And then after the burning room, they are to they are hit the reactor, but hit the air. So the fair is not connected with the reactor. And then we can keep this fully continuous paralysis plant using for a long time. After that, they will go to the they will go to the cooling system. For the cooling system, also it's different between the batch type paralysis machine and the semi paralysis machine. This is totally different. And then for our machine, at least you need to prepare two water pools. One is for recycling water, the other one is for desulvorization tower waters. So that is water pool you are using for. After that, let me show you the different different way to state this one. So here can you see this long one, long blue one is right here. This long blue one is for the whole oyster. This one is the elevator just transfer. This is just transfer some with the rubber powder. Because if you are not using this part, you're supposed to have some air inside inside the reactor. Our, our reactor 
Earth be heat is is happened under the no oxygen, no oxygen, under no oxygen conditions. So that is why this is the hoister, and then they have the feeding hoister here as well. And then the reactor, we can see on the top here, we prepare a lot of the tubes that is connect with the cooling, that is connect with the, with the smoke, with the smoke. It's easy for us to, to collect the smoke here. That is this part. And the red one here is the burner. And uh, I didn't mention a lot of the details here because I want to show you our factory in the future live stream. Just make sure you guys can hear our, can see our factory directly. Why? Because in our factory, they have a lot of noisy and, and maybe one day I would like to show you this one. Okay, this is the three different about the equipments. Just now we are talking about how to choose the suitable paralysis plant. Like the first one, uh, a first in, very important part is your materials. So if you want to choose a suitable paralysis plant, you at least choose according to your raw materials and choose the equipments. So after the paralysis plant, Plant, you're supposed to be using it for and then we will go to the next part the second part is like according to your according to your raw materials the first part is according to your raw materials the second part is very everybody very concerned about the oil yield like if I use your machines to get this uh, one ton with the with the with the rubbers or with the tires. How many oil I will get it? Okay, I ask you. You will you you give me okay at least the fourteen percent, and I will I, I ask the other factory. They give me at least the thirteen percent. So it's very important about the oil yield. Some people are very interested about that. And then they are very interested about the, the capacity. Different capacity, they are they can put different they can put different raw materials. And the, according to this one, some people they are very interested about the capacity as well. And then the man factory choose a big man factory is very suitable for you. Why? If you have if you have some problem in the future, after self-service team is strong, will be helpful for you. Why? If you have any problem, if you are, if some important part you, you don't understand, you, you can ask them directly. And then let me show you the next one. This is the first part, and the third part is the equipment already introduce our equipments for you so and uh, some people they are very interested about the price because in different factory for different uh, equipments they have different they have the different price like what kind of the equipments you are interested like okay if I if I'm interested about the batch tap paralysis machine and what kind of the cooling system you are choosing like the water box water recycling water box or the condenser system they have different price and some people they are uh, in some country they will give you the lower price because they didn't give you the cooling system they only give you the reactor so you suppose we have the have the equipment list and the price. If you are interested, you need to ask the factory to do it as well. And also for this part, equipment part, I already introduced those three things for you. And right now, let me just show you some videos. Just about some different equipments. 
Hope you guys, according to these videos, you are very interested about that. All right. Okay, this is uh, our 3D videos about the beta paralysis plant. Just help, just hope these videos helpful for you to choose the machines. Okay, this is the machine. This is the. Three these videos, and then this is a factory for six, six, the fifteen tons equipment, the whole processing line, and this factory for one pro one fifteen tons processing line. This supposed to be have using the three hundred square meters. First, this this machine they are using the auto auto fitting about this machine. Hi, welcome new friends. Welcome to my channel. Okay, let me show you the three D videos here. This is auto fitting. We using the drug to put the wasted terrace inside, and then this one we have the fifteen tons pressure. Just make sure the reactor inside the places can be using properly, and then we using the burner to heat it. Welcome, new friends. How are you? How are you today? Good morning. Good afternoon, good evening for you because I'm not sure where are you from. And then we will get the oil, some oil gas. This is the separate bag, and this is the buffer tank. And on the top here, we have the three watch just for the temperature, for the pressure, and for the uh, for the pressure as content pressure. And then this is the vertical condenser. They have the full tubes, and outside the tubes, this is the recycling water. Can you see? This is the recycling water, and the oil gas will be cooling here at least for the will be cooling to here. After the vertical condenser, this one will go into the oil water separation. This is a safety device for the oil water separation. Why we call it the safety device? Because this one we can just prevent the oil gas come back to the reactor. Just make sure more safety in our daily daily life. Just prevent to boom about this one and also. Also for the oil water separator, they have the oil recycling oil as there as well, and then they can get small parts about the oil. Hi, new friends. How are you today? Hello, welcome to my live show. If you are the first time, please give me a follow button right here. I will appreciate. And then this is the horizontal condenser. This one we will get at least 19 percent about the oil will be cooling here. And then the all、uh, the cooling tower. That is the first. They didn't show you the cooling tower here, but it doesn't matter. This is a this is the auto removal system. This one we will remove some uh some unhealthy smell. Just like just make sure this can just make sure the gas will. Reach to the policy to three, and then in here they have some 
some gas can burn and then this one will come back to the reactor here as well. This is the fire. As the heat as the fuel to heat our reactor. So we can just just reduce some fuel oil using. And then this is the tower, but in here we already change it because this is too small and then we change it to the big desulvorization tower. This part also just removes some uncondensable gas already changed. This is the vacuum device, this one, because before we discharge the carbon black this will be still have some oil gas inside the reactor. So for our safety, we just add this desulvorization tower, just make sure they don't have the oil gas in the reactor. So when we open the feeding door, that is very safety. And then we can discharge the carbon black first. This is the outlet when this is a wind outlet just cooled the reactor inside here very well because we need to wait the temperature reach to 18 degree and then we can discharge the carbon black directly. Otherwise this would be very dangerous. This is the carbon black will they have the two holes for the sludging hole so when the reactor running, at least they can discharge the carbon black twice. And then the carbon black connect with the with the wind transfer carbon black transfer wind system. Just connect this one. Just make sure our factory more clean, and this one can collect all the carbon black. It's very for it's very easy for us to collect it. And then some people they choose to put some detergent inside here, just make sure the carbon black is very sticky. And then after the sticky, the carbon black will be uh, turned, required to be a bowl, or some people they are choosing to refine about the carbon black because they have different price about these two kind of things. And then from this part, this is a ball. This ball, they have the 17, 17 kilo weight about the heating things. And then this is the steel, this is a steel pole machine, pole steel machines here. Just take out all the steels inside the reactor. And then you can see it's black. It's black on the top here. After that, we will collect all the oil to the big oil tank because the oil tank here is very limited. And then we, we put it in the big tank here. Okay, that is all for the best type paralysis machine. 买家在商祥看直播,打个招呼吧! Hi, new friends. Are you still here? Just introduce our live show to you. Okay, so right here, this best type paralysis machine already show you guys and then I will show you the for the fully continuous paralysis machine here. For the fully continuous paralysis machine, they are very different because they have very different part. Because for the batch type paralysis machine, we put the wasted terrace here. And then for the for the other things, they have the different part. It's right here. Okay. Let me show you this through these videos. This is our fully automatic continuous paralysis plant and you can see 
they have very longer about the reactor. So that is very important part for the reactor. And then for the very longer reactor, they have one tuck, middle tuck here. Later I will show you the details. See, this one we put the with the rubber powder. That is different according to the with patch tap paralysis machine, right? Hello, Eddie. Welcome, Beta. Welcome, Beta. How are you today? How are you today? Beta, how are you? Are you still here? Okay, so let me just introduce this one directly to you. The with the rubber powder. You can see they have spin on the top there and then they have the hoist on the top there as well. This is the reactor. Uh, just now I already told you this one they are hit the reactor but hit the re but hit the air because they didn't put the fire connect to be connect to uh, hit the reactor directly. They want to make it for using for a long time. And then they have the cooling water and then the cooling oils here. This is the oil gas will be come out. And this tube is very technical because this tube this tube can use they put a right way. If this tube put very high, they suppose we have some oil gas not be not be not reduce the speed very well if they put very low the carbon black can be con collect here and then they go to the what this is the buffer tank but this buffer tank they have the recycling water outside so in here they also have some oil will be cooled here Then the oil gas very first, and then they will you after the two V they go to the next part. This is the U shape, U shape two Vs already introduced this part, but I will introduce this one again. This U shape two Vs is very useful. We were using for when the pump take out the oil use, they can keep balance about the pressure. Yeah, I hope I, I introduce it to you clearly. And then the vertical condenser will be cooling the, as well. Outside is also is cooling water. After one, two, three, four, they're gonna be cooling our oil at least the seventeen percent the oil use properly. And then they have the water sea. Oh, I'm sorry. They at least uh, cooling the oil you at least 95 percent because our new fully continuous paralysis machine they have the five they have six vertical condenser so that's why I always I always say the wrong number and then this is the smell remove dissolve smell remove system here as well after this machine this supposed to be get some uh, till gas can burn, can burn, and then this kind of till gas, till gas will come, will send to the reactor as a fuel oils to heat the reactor. This is one. See, see, see. This one come back to the reactor as a, as a fuel to heat the reactor here. So only the first two days we need to put the fuel oil use or some fuel for some gas for some wooden. Otherwise, we all using the we all using the tail gas as a burner. Here also they will collect some oil use here as well. See, this, this is a water sea, and this one is the discharge the carbon black part. 
from this part, some people they can get the discharge, the carbon black directly when they have the high temperature. This is the also for this carbon black outside elevator. They also have the cooling system out, outside the pub as well because we need to make sure the carbon black take is is a great degree for us to take it. Okay. Anyway, this is a uh, three water for just just be could the two guys the smoke actually then this is a desulvorization tower they have different parts one is the spray one is separate the tail guys just want to make sure this smoke will be cooled very well and they can be connected very well See, this one will reach outside to get the towers. And also, this is all for today. What kind of the raw materials, how did we choose our machines here? And also, honey, if you still have any question, you can just put your question in the comment area. Because this live room almost finished. Today, I just like to share three share the four very important part about how to choose the paralysis plant. Here comes this question for you. So according to this all the things I show you, do you still have any question? All right, I think nobody have the questions. Okay, so today in the future, if we choose the suitable paralysis plant, the four very important parts we need to be patient. The first one is like the raw materials, according to your raw materials, and then we will choose the equipment. Very important about your, the raw materials. The second part is the oil yield. Different, different the machines, they have the different, different the uh, things like the different materials, they have different oil yield. If you choose this machine, if you choose this equipment, they didn't hit the, they didn't hit the raw materials very well. Also, they didn't cool in this raw materials very well. It's very, uh, it's very, it's very pollution about this oil yield. The third part is choose very important man factory just put a big factory because it's very using for for your after the service and also if you choose a big man new factory it's very helpful for you why if you have any problem they, they're gonna deal with this problem as well then the the first is very important just choose just choose very uh, great equipment for your raw materials. Okay, this is the four parts only for today. And also, honey, do you guys still have any question? If no question, I would like to finish this live show for today. I'm waiting you at least 14 seconds. Hi, Barzil. How are you, Barzil? Are you from Thailand? Are you from Thailand, honey? Are you from Thailand? Just tell me. I hope you are a great boy. Hi, Ansham De. Well, are you from? Umbrella with logo. Oh, you want umbrella with logo? Sorry, this is a wrong live stream. You come. But um, hi, yes, Frank. Oh, your name is Frank. I think you, your name is Brazil. Where are you from? It's 
Sorry, I know a very nice country. You are a great, great people. Thanks for your leave the comment here for me. <laughs> ah, Tanzania. Oh, in South Africa, right? Tanzania. Oh my God, that is a great country. Yeah, that is a country in. Uh, let me check. This is in South Africa. Oh, which country? East Africa. Oh, thanks. Thanks for your comments. East Africa. Okay. Okay, I know this country. <laughs> I know this country. I see you are very interested about the umbrella with logo. So you have your own factory? Or you just interested about this umbrella? Don't you know? Yeah, before I, I actually I don't know Tanzania which part in Africa, but now I know. Thanks for your tell me. But I know this country very properly. I see here they give they give me your hobbies about you are very interested about umbrella. That is great. That is great. So you want to buy some umbrella from from China or what? Oh yes, by the way, I'm from China. Nice to meet you here. Nice to meet you here. But at this time, I almost finished my live show. If you don't mind, can you give me a follow right here? Otherwise, you can see my live stream in the future. Hi, user. Welcome, user. Belloy. Welcome to my live show, honey. How are you today? Hi, user. Belloy. Oh my god, I want to see this one but they didn't oh my god what's wrong about my okay let me just check alumina window and door making user you are interested about alumina door yeah they tell me your hobby is here hi everyone welcome to my live stream this is demi we are the we are from doing company this is the man factory about uh, how did they get the paralysis oil. I'm not sure, did you guys know that? Okay, so today my... Oh, welcome back, user. Welcome back here. Welcome back to my live show. And also, honey, this live stream almost finished. Thanks for you guys watch my live show for today hope you guys have a wonderful day and just say bye just say bye